prayer. It's been taken out of schools. Faith, it's something they don't like us to talk about. But there's something stronger than legislation, stronger than law. It's the Holy Spirit, and it is moving through our schools. Us students going out and saying, hey, we're gonna have this awesome worship service out here on the football field. This small idea started taking hold. It became a movement. And pretty soon we started claiming the Word of God for our own. I think it was a real new start for some people. It's bringing people who aren't used to being in the church environment and it's bringing them to a place that's not in a church, it's in a football stadium. With strength enough to face the world, we stood together on common ground, on fields of faith. It's not complicated. We believe, we invite our peers, we meet on a field at school, we share how our lives have been changed. We accept the challenge of reading the Word. We say we're ready to take on life. How about eternal life? They weren't expecting us for like half of the people on our bus to actually come to Christ that night. That really touched me, how they spoke about and told their testimony and how they were so real about it. This is change we can make happen. This is a way we can make a difference at our schools, in our neighborhoods. Everybody in the community was, was welcome to come and come worship with us and just fellowship out there on the field. It gave me an opportunity to show my peers, you know, my faith and my beliefs and maybe help them in their walk as well. The cool thing about it is you see like this generation coming together. Every denomination, every church coming together, uniting as one. At our schools, across our world, lives are changing. Hearts are opening. God's work is getting done. I mean, there are people who I've been praying for for months and who finally just, just surrendered to Christ and gave their lives to Christ. It felt like just a reward more than anything else for so long because it was just like God allowed you to, uh, to experience what He sees all the time. So think about it. Do we keep it to ourselves or do we share it? It's in our hands.